I want to begin by looking just briefly at a passage in Jeremiah chapter 12. In this passage, Jeremiah is offering a complaint to God about the triumph of the wicked. The wicked seem to prosper. He seems to be suffering. He wants an answer from God. And God responds to him in chapter 12, verse 5. If you have run with footmen and they have tired you out, then how can you compete with horses? If you fall down in the land of peace, how will you do in the thicket of the Jordan? Now, what is he teaching here? He's saying, Jeremiah, it's going to get worse. It's going to get far worse than what you can imagine at this moment. And Jeremiah, if in this slightly difficult time, you are not able to run, you are not able to stand, then you most certainly will not be able to run or stand when times get tough. Now, something very important, especially I, I'm addressing everyone, but especially the young men today. You were not born in a culture or a generation that creates strength. You were born in a culture and a generation that has sought to create nothing but weakness in you. Lack of conviction, lack of the ability to plant your feet in the sand and go against everyone for the cause of Christ. Your generation teaches you nothing of that. And right now, right now. If you find it difficult to walk with Christ now, then fear. I'm not a prophet or the son of a prophet. This is not from some vision or even an interpretation of scripture. This is from just being a student of history. If there is not a revival in this country. And you do stand as a Christian. And I mean stand then your generation may suffer far more than any generation that's ever been on this continent. And if you're weak now, you will cave then. Question is, what should we do? What should we do? Well, I can tell you what you shouldn't do. You don't need to go back into previous generations and find some sort of model of John Wayne or a cowboy or a soldier and then draw your example from that. No, you must do what every generation must do if it's going to be strong in the Lord and serve the Lord and honor the Lord. You're going to have to live in Scripture. I so often hear these young men talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking, but they cannot stand. And they do not stand because they do not kneel in the study of Scripture and in prayer. A young man and a young woman that spends time in prayer before a holy God that lives feeds upon the word of God can stand when everyone else falls. So the question is this. You're going to play Christianity. You're going to get in all sorts of groups and have all kinds of fun. Or are you going to be that person who gets in the word of God and grows? Who gets in the word of God and becomes conformed to the image of Christ? 